a look at this picture of new father Elton John. There he is looking ecstatic, Aww. embracing the joys of fatherhood on a family day out with his two-month-old baby boy, Zachary. Aww. Now, this is obviously a side to the flamboyant pop star that not many of us have seen. Um, so, does that mean that babies bring out the same kind of effect in all of us? Do you get all gooey when you see a baby? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't, especially when they're at that little tadpole stage. <laughs> so, right when they're little people, but they're when they're little tadpoles in the nappies, no, no, no. But I'm very impressed with Elton. I think he'll make a great father. He rang me up uh, when it was announced about the baby. And he it, rang you up? He rang me up and told me all about the birth in great detail. He's I went. He lost my number, Janet. Well, he rang me up and said, the baby's head came out. I went, too much information. <laughs> I don't want to know. But I think he'll be a great dad because he's been a great godfather to all his uh, godchildren. He also, I think, loves his pets. And I think that demonstrates that if you can care for animals, which obviously I have no children and no pets, so, yeah. therefore I'll be a lousy mother, I think he'll make a great but dad. But what are you like with little babies, though? Are you good with babies? I mean, would you be if somebody said, yeah? Well, I did a TV series where I had to be a midwife. <gasps> I know. I worked in Barnsley Hospital for two weeks as a trainee midwife, nursing assistant, and I actually did deliver two babies. Um, wow. One was a caesarean where it kind of got you know, without going into too much grisly detail, at lunchtime, you know, the baby popped mm, out yeah. and... They zip open, don't they? They zip open, yeah. comes, out, <laughs> comes out of a new letterbox yeah, you never had in your right. body before. Um, and the mother said, I said, shall I hand you the baby? She went, oh, no, give it a wash first. So... <laughs> and I tied the cord but and... But I have that. to say, can you imagine going into a hospital, heavily pregnant, feeling not too good with the contractions, and somebody says, here's your nurse, Janet Street <laughs> 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 You know, you to be honest, to I was going to say, to be honest, they'd be the quickest labour pains ever. <laughs> 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 the quickest baby <laughs> out, <girl. laughs> um, Well, you know what? I think from the time they put Shane Jr. in my arms, my everything changed. Mm. My, it was just instant. And I know, you know, it must be so difficult for, for women who don't get that, because there's a lot of women who feel bad that they don't get that instant love. Sure. It takes time. But for me, it was absolutely instant, and my life completely changed from that moment. My priorities in life, um, and just this love that you don't have for any anything and, else and except was, your was children. Was that a side to you that people hadn't necessarily seen? Because <coughs> Elton John, obviously, we've never seen him as a father figure before. But were you always very maternal? Yeah, always. I've always loved. You know, even when I was little myself, I loved babies. You mm -hmm. know, and I always wanted baby dolls. I never wanted your Barbies and all of that. I wanted baby dolls that I could push around in a pram. Okay. And and to be honest with you, I mean, I was very lucky because you know I managed to have three children naturally, yeah. and, it, and it all happened yeah. normally. Um, because it would have been the worst thing of my life if I'd have been told, because I just assumed that I would yeah. always one day have children. And they yeah. did change my life. Well, we always had poodles and I pushed them around in the pram. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one day I knew it wouldn't just be a poodle. <laughs> and it wasn't... I had one dolly, but I pulled the arms off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> moved straight on to Lego. That is too much information. <laughs> the only thing is, well, it took me eight years to have Keely, so Keely to me it was, is, was and is the love of my life. And I always remember, you know, holding her on my chest and kissing her, and the, and the midwife said, now that's true love. Yeah, and it was true. and always has been. But the only thing I'll say about having a baby is that they don't come out with a little booklet. <laughs> you know, they go, ER, this is what you do with me. Do they? No. You go, they go, what do you do with this end and what do you do with that end? And you've no idea and you take them home and you, and you just put them on a table and go, what does it do? It poos <laughs> and it eats, doesn't it? It's, it's true. true. It's true. It should come with at least a little label sort of somewhere yes. here saying, you know, like wash a, a delicate... Yeah. Delicate. <laughs> <laughs> feed delicate. Every Two hours. Yeah. You no, know, I remember when I when I got home with with Finley, obviously my my first. Um, I remember we we got home, we put him in the car seat, you know, in the, in the middle of the floor, and he's, he, you know, they're, they're so little then, they're all kind of crumpled sitting in the car seat, and I got really cross. I said, Why have they let me home? It's completely obvious. I don't know what I'm doing. It's their fault. <laughs> yes. It's the hospital's <laughs> fault. If anything, and I had to ring my cousin Heather, who'd had three babies, and said, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what. To, I didn't know what to do. How do you oh, make no. a feed in case you, you know breastfeeding doesn't work? I could have mixed up your bottle for you. I did learn that in the hospital. Oh <laughs> my god! I could mix up the bottle. I don't know about the nappy changing bit though. But what yeah. did you put in the bottle? That's what would worry me. No, I know all the proportions. Milk. Powdered milk and all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. 
think what's amazing though is you feel that with your first and then yeah. you think you can't possibly feel that love again for I another baby. I did worry about that. And you know, with all three of mine, it was instant and yes. it was that kind of love for all three. So. I know, because I, I had a Vimarana and that wasn't as much love as the pre <laughs> But then it became a lot of love because I loved the Vimarana, but he was so much bigger, of course. Though, Sherry, that must have been a hell of a labour. <laughs> more than eight years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you've got any comments.